Hey everyone, this is Gary House, the Outdoor Cook, and I'm here in front of my Weber Performer. And today we are cooking a blackberry chipotle marinated tri-tip. Some asparagus spears and some Yukon gold potato slices. And I'm going to try something new that I haven't done, and this is the Jack Daniels Whiskey Barrel Charcoal briquettes uh, and smoker blocks. And just opening up the bag. My first impression is that it's a plain old charcoal briquette. So we're going to give these a try. Got the real fire going. And we'll see what happens. Perhaps there's some other goodies in the bottom of this bag. Patience is not the virtual line. You can see some of the wood bits in the charcoal. Okay, we'll see what happens. So the coals are done, and I will be setting up for two stage cooking. Most of my coals are going to be right here. It's going to be very hot. And then the heat will taper off as it gets further back into the grill. The first impression of lighting these briquettes up is that they're pretty darn smoky. So that would be an indication of the wood in there. I'm going to add a few more in here. And see a couple surprises in the bag already. Some whiskey barrel chunks. So I'm going to move those back towards the high heat side. Spread my coals around a little bit more to keep the heat sustainable for probably a couple hours. I'm going to try to cook this fairly slow. And the smoker blocks are already catching on fire, so I'll move those up towards the front and switch them around. It is quite a high heat, very hot. Put my grill on, I want to get this hot so that I can clean this up. And as that gets hotter, I will be able to get all that cooking and grime off. This is my grill brush that I like to use. It's a Liebman. Uh, it's a long handle barbecue brush and this is absolutely the best grill brush I've ever used. It keeps the brush away from my knuckles, or not the brush, but uh, yeah, the brush and then also the heat. So it makes it very efficient to use. Grill is somewhat cleaned. It is hot. I'm probably putting out a good four or five hundred degrees here. Just want to oil up the grate real quick. And this is our tri-tip. Now it's a fairly small roast. <clears throat> I've already trimmed it. And I made my raspberry chipotle blackberry, excuse me, blackberry chipotle marinade. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to sear this. And that's going to take all of a couple minutes on each side. This reserve liquid is now garbage. Do not use that again. I won't be marinating this at all. And quite often with tri-tip I use a dry rub, so this is something new for me. The searing is only going to be on each side for a couple minutes, and boy, that smells good. Just want to seal it in, and I'm going to offset it back over here into the indirect heat, and we'll cook that for a while.
caramelized very fast. Almost not enough time on that side. We're going to give it a few more minutes. Okay, now we're ready to offset this. Three-stage cooking, high heat, medium heat, or low heat, and then no heat. And so we're putting our tri-tip over on the no heat side. And we're going to let that cook for a while till the internal temperature, uh, until we get about medium, and I usually do a taste test. You can see it's real spongy. That means it's very raw inside. We're going to cover this up and let it start cooking. Now, it's time. You can see this beautiful tri-tip roast. It's time to get our potato slices on. And again, I'm going to oil this up over the high heat section. Still got a lot of heat being put out on this. And for my Yukon potatoes, um, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. These are very creamy, light tasting, delightfully tasting potatoes. And they don't need a lot of extra on them to make them taste good. And we're just going to layer them on here and I'm thinking these are about a quarter inch slices and they'll probably take 15 minutes tops. You don't want them <clears throat> like breakfast potatoes. We want them to have a little bit of a crunch. Grilled on the outside. Slice these lengthwise on purpose. Put on the grill a little bit nicer. And as soon as these are done, I'm going to throw in some asparagus spears for a few minutes. The smell of that tri tip. With that blackberry chipotle marinade on it is just unbelievable. You can see the bright yellow color of these potatoes. Not the cheapest potatoes out there. If you want, you could do this with russets or even red potatoes. But I had a hankering for Yukons. 